Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So, a little change for today. Um, I kind of wanted to surprise you with this look, but I'm like, I'm going to put it in the thumbnail on the video, so might as well not. So, this video, it's a fun video, I just love Halloween, don't you, is for my Ipsy October Glam Bag. And they did a really cute theme this month. They did beauty candy. And I was trying to incorporate it with Halloween, obviously. And I kept going over and over my head, like, what is Halloween with beauty candy? And I just kept going candy, candy, candy. And of course, the first thing I thought of was Candy Girl herself, Katy Perry. So I thought this would be a really great um, makeup tutorial for something really simple and easy to do for Halloween that everyone still recognizes, but you don't have to go full out with her whole outfit. You know, you get the blue wig on, and this is such a fun look for like a Halloween party or something or maybe going out on a date. So um, I'm not going to go into uh, what Ipsy is all about. I'll put it in the description box below in case you're interested. Uh, I know it'll take probably just way too much time to go into all that. So. Let's go ahead and talk about what I got in my bag this month. I love the bag. Look at this. Oh, and it's just the cutest thing ever. I love it. Um, it's a beautiful teal, teal blue green bag. Um, kind of like a kind of like a quilted pattern on the outside, but it's plastic. I love it. I love it. I love it. So in this bag, I got a crew New York. Um, I always think I'm saying this wrong. Is it a a cacaya? A Acacia, Acacia, I'm gonna, I should have looked before I did this video, but I'm in such a hurry because I'm so busy right now with work. <laughs> Protein BB cream, beauty balm for hair. And then I also received Skin Iceland's um, Glacial Cleansing Cloths. And let's see, Jessie's Girl Mineralized Bake Powder Eyeshadow. Um, does it say what shade? Yes, the shade is Kiwi Shine. And... Let's see, Roseberry Nourishing and Soothing Figs and Rouge Hand Cream with Shea Butter. Um, I think that is the scent, Roseberry. And then last but not least, little bitty, 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 mini. Look how cute this is. Little Starlux Lip Gloss in the shade Guilty Pleasure. Um, so that's what I received in my bag. Let's go ahead and go through the review. And then be sure to stay tuned for this fun tutorial for a Katy Perry inspired look for Halloween time. All right. All right, so as I said, this month's theme is beauty candy, and here's what Ipsy has to say about it. The official look for October 2014. This month, we're whipping up the most delicious beauty confections for you in your October beauty candy glam bag. You'll find both beauty tricks and beauty treats all month long with colorful and eye-catching eye candy that you can see and sample. Product number one is a Crew New York Acacia Protein BB Cream for Hair. And the description says Acacia Collagen Hydrolyzed Silk Protein Silk Amino Acids Jojoba Oil and Manwa Oil A Phenomenon in Hair Care Finally, an all-in-one styling cream that is amazingly light, incredibly versatile, and harnesses the moisturizing and protective power of Acacia Collagen for ultimate repair. I received a one fluid ounce travel size, which retails for $12 off of a Crew New York website. I really, really love this um, product. I actually, it was kind of funny because you see BB creams kind of coming out for almost every part of your body now, not just your face, which is where it originated. Um, it's it's a really, really nice formula. It's I, I always prefer to use a um, oil or cream or lotion for my hair instead of conditioner after I'm done showering and shampooing my hair then I usually put a little bit of you know hair oil or something in my hands rub it in my damp hair and I do that instead of conditioner because conditioner can weigh my hair down a whole heck of a lot so I really love this product it's really nice and it smells lovely just a really nice fresh scent nothing too too um, strong I like that it has no parabens, it's color safe, so I do bleach my hair, I'm happy about that. Um, it does have some great ingredients, it has jojoba oil, coconut oil, and I love the way it feels. It's, it's a lighter cream, it's not a very heavy cream, so it's perfect if you have thin hair like me and you just want something to soften up that hair without weighing it down. Fabulous, absolutely love it. 
Next we have Skin Iceland's Glacial Cleansing Cloths with White Willow Bark and Cucumber Extract. And here's what they have to say about it. When you're too tired to deal with the whole cleanser and washcloth routine, these on-the-go foaming cloths are the ultimate skin savior. Infused with Icelandic glacial waters and beneficial natural extracts, they sweep away makeup, dirt, and oil and other impurities while refreshing and soothing stressed skin. Best of all, there's no water required. It has a clean scent, never tacky. Great for travel or every day. The full size is 30 single use cloths and it retails for $15 on Skin Iceland's website. I received a 10 cleansing cloth packet so it retails for about $5. I am always looking for the next fabulous cleansing cloths. I'm so picky about my cleansing cloths, it's so funny. Um, I really, really love these though. This is the size that it comes in. Nice size. What's great about them is that they're very, very um, uh, just loaded with moisture. I mean, it came out and you could see the the moisture and the hydration just kind of, you know, on, on the cloth itself. So it was nice and damp. You could easily just clean off your entire face, including eye makeup, just everything. If you have heavy eye makeup with these cloths. Um, don't let the size fool you. It's not as large as some cleansing cloths that I've seen, but it is just fabulous. And it's soft. What I, what I really, really love about it is how soft it is. Um, it's not going to tug at your skin a whole lot. And because it's so damp, you just have to work very gently to wipe everything off. Wonderful. It has, I'm smelling it because it smells so good. It has a white willow bark and cucumber extract in it. You could definitely smell the cucumber. Um, it smells delicious. I really like it. I think this is probably something that I'm going to have to buy in the future. Like I said, I'm really picky about my cleansing cloths. So really excited that I got this in my bag. The third product is Figs and Rouge Roseberry Shea Butter Hand Cream. And here is what they have to say about it. Figs and Rouge Shea Butter Enriched Hand Creams are deliciously fragrant and indulgent. Figs and Rouge Roseberry Shea Butter Hand Cream softens, nourishes, and thoroughly pampers hands throughout the day. I received a full size in my Ipsy Glam bag and it retails for $6.56 for a 20 milliliter tube. I think this product is fantastic. Um, it's If you don't like strong scents, you might not like this hand cream. Um, the only thing I'll say about the packaging that I'm not happy with is that it's a twist top. Um, I think I would have preferred a pop-off cap um, instead of a twist top. I actually have another product of theirs. I think it's like a lip gloss and it looks just like this. Um, so I guess that's just their standard design for, for the majority of their products, maybe all their products. Um, the Roseberry, it, it does have more of a berry scent than a floral scent, which I'm happy about, but it is a bit maybe too sweet for me. And that's funny because I love berry scents, but it is maybe just a little bit too sickly sweet for me. Um, still a really, really nice product, a nice thicker formula as you can see here. Um, it, it lather, not lathers, it, it smooths on really, really well. Um, and it definitely moisturizes really well. It's great for people that maybe have rougher elbows or knees or different parts of their body that just get really, really rough and hard. Um, this will definitely moisturize, soothe the skin, and I think it's great. Just maybe a little too sweet in the scent for me. If they had toned down the scent just a little bit, I would really, really love it. Um, also has some great ingredients in it. It's got shea nut butter. It's got um, coconut butter algae, uh, ginseng root extract, some really great ingredients in it, um, and I like it. I just probably wouldn't repurchase because of the scent. The fourth product is Jessie's Girl Cosmetics Mineralized Bake Powder Eyeshadow in the shade Kiwi Shine. I did receive a full size, which is 2 grams or .07 ounces. The full size price is $3.99. I loved baked powder eyeshadows. I do, I do, I do. Um, I've had some that the formula is not so great, that's a little powdery and just doesn't last very long. But this formula, oh my gosh, wait till you see a close up. Um, the swatch on the bottom left is two or three swipes. The center swatch is over primer. Can you see a difference? I cannot see a difference at all. And then the top of the hand is um, blended out, which it blends out nicely. It's not super pigmented in color, but you know, you still see that beautiful golden, you know, kiwi kind of sheen. 
Um, but I don't see a difference between with or without primer. That's how pigmented it is. And I was surprised because it's sort of a lighter color. It's a mix of maybe like a minty green, a forest green, and then some sort of bronzy gold swirled throughout. So it's, it's a little bit lighter when it applies on the eye, but you can build it up nicely or you can blend it out nicely. It's very smooth, very easy to work with. Um, beautiful shade. I actually want to jump in and kind of try some of their other shades because I know that they have other colors. Um, uh, description box below if you want to check them out for yourself. Don't forget, I always put links to all the products that I review on here if you want to go look at them yourselves. But all in all, really, really love this baked eyeshadow. You will see it demonstrated quite a bit in the tutorial, so stay tuned for that if you want. And the last and final product is a Starlux brand lip gloss in the shade Guilty Pleasure. And here's what Starlux has to say about it. A truly moisturizing, non-sticky formula available in 47 different shades. Tint ranges from sheer to opaque and finishes range from shimmer to satin. This creamy, glassy, long-lasting gloss adds a glistening effect, and my cat just knocked something down, to any lip look. Designed to be worn alone or in combination with other Starlux lip products for a truly customizable finish that completes any look. Each tinted lip gloss comes beautifully packaged in a translucent tube with a doe foot applicator. The full size is 0.14 ounces, and the size that I received on Ipsy's website, it says that it's 0.3 ounces. To me, that doesn't calculate quite right. I'm thinking there might be a little mess up with the size um, written down. I'm guessing that it might be 0.03 ounces um, for the little sample size that Ipsy sent out. So if that is correct, then it would retail will be worth about $2.57 for the sample size as the full size is $12. Now, first of all, this packaging is just adorable. It's so cute, look how little it is, it's so tiny. Um, I'm normally not a lip gloss fan, but this is a very nice lip gloss. It's decently pigmented, maybe not as pigmented as the Rimmel Apocalypse lip glosses if you're a fan of those, um, but it's definitely not sheer. It can be blended out a little bit. It's a little bit thicker of a formula. Sorry, my phone cut off there for a second. Um, anyhow, definitely nicer than other lip glosses that I've used. Oop, dropping stuff, hello, that I've used in the past. Um, I think it's a really, really nice color. Definitely a basic pink, good for all type of skin tones. Um, I probably wouldn't repurchase again. Repur repurchase? Repurchase? What did I just say? Repurchase again. Because I'm just not a lip gloss fan, but I still think it's really pretty. If you're looking for a nice basic color lip gloss, um, you might want to try this out. The size may be... A, why do I keep dropping stuff? <laughs> the size is maybe just a little too small for me. I'm curious to see if they have a larger size. I'll look on their website and put in the description box below what I find. Um, anyhow, so I probably wouldn't repurchase again, but still a really nice basic lip gloss. All right, let's move on to the makeup tutorial for this fun Katy Perry inspired Halloween party look. All right, I already primed my lid with Urban Decay's Primer Potion in original. Now I'm taking NYX's Jumbo Pencil in electric blue, matches my hair, and I'm gonna apply it on the lid, not going past the crease, just on the lid. Pretty opaque, we wanna apply a good bit. Then I'm gonna let that set for just a second. And once it's set, blending it out with my fingertip very gently. I want to keep it fairly opaque still, just blending out mostly the edge up towards the eyebrow. But like I said, keeping it pretty opaque. Alright, now we're going to take the Jessie's Girl Mineralized Baked Eyeshadow and I'm going to take my Starlux 858 Soft Small Dome Fluff Brush and apply the shade Kiwi Shine all over the lid. Blending it up all across the NYX's Jumbo Pencil. It does apply fairly opaque. Now taking my new baby, the Vice Palette 3 by Urban Decay and a BH Cosmetics, it's the blending brush from the 36 piece ultimate set, I believe. We're going into the shade Freeze, which is that beautiful blue. And we're gonna apply it up above the crease, blending it windshield, wiper motion. 
Now taking the brush from the Vice 3 palette, I'm going into the shade Truth. And I'm going to use that as my brow bone, not necessarily highlight, it's just kind of blending out the shade freeze up at the top so the line isn't as harsh. And once again, going back into freeze and just blending that into truth so it's just a nice fade. Now I'm going to be using the Urban Decay 24-7 Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner in El Dorado, beautiful gold. And I'm going to apply it to my fingertip and use the fingertip, check out this fancy technique, to the eyelid. Just dabbing it on, mostly focusing on the center. Adding a bit more. Till I have a nice sort of golden, not really sparkle, it's kind of a sparkly sheen, but I think it looks gorgeous on the eyelid, just the way it picks up in the light. Beautiful. And just blending it out really lightly. Now I'm using my Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Velvet Pencil in Black Velvet. You can see how much I love it. Look how much I've used, heavens. And I'm applying it in my waterline as well as above the lashes and just as a simple thin line. Not paying attention to how fancy this is or how precise this is because I'm applying eyeliner on top of it later. Time to curl the lashes. Going to be using L'Oreal's Voluminous Miss Manga Mascara, waterproof in the shade Black is Black, and just apply a thin coat to the lashes. Now to apply some falsies, I'm using BH Cosmetics Sassy False Eyelashes. Using tweezers, applying it to the center, and then tucking it in on the ends. It's rare that I wear falsies. But, I mean, you can't be Katy Perry and not wear falsies. Using the mascara again, I am tacking on my lashes to the falsies just so they blend in together seamlessly. Now I'm using Lisi's Cosmetics Liquid Line Liquid Eyeliner in Black Magic. And I'm making a simple cat wing, very Katy Perry style. Going in again with the 24-7 Glide On Pencil in Black Velvet, I am applying it to my bottom lash line. Keeping it off the waterline because I want the eyes to appear a bit wider. I'm mostly focusing it on the actual roots of the lashes. And then mascara on the bottom lashes is a must. I'm going to be using Revlon's Color Burst Matte Balm in the shade Showy for my base lip color. Was anybody else obsessed with these matte balms just like me? <laughs> I was determined to have them in every single color. I love Showy. I think it's amazing. And then taking the Starlux Lip Gloss in the shade Guilty Pleasure, applying that over. And ta-da, Katy Perry. All right, everyone, so that's the end of the review and the tutorial. I hope you enjoyed. Um, be sure to comment down below. Let me know if you enjoy these kind of videos. I know it's kind of fun to do something different. And it's Halloween, so happy Halloween to everybody. Um, I think that's it. I tried to make this video as fast as possible because I know I like to make my videos go on forever. So... Alright everyone, happy makeuping. I'll talk to y'all very soon. Mwah. Bye.